Hello, my lovely friends. These are my lovely dogs. And I'm about to show you how I feed them. Delica. My mama. So, we're going here to this table. We're gonna sit. We're gonna feed the animals. Starting with the little babies. Delica. Delilah, Chaikareni, and Brutus. And where's Mecho? There's Mecho. Bravo, Mecho, bravo. Okay, so here is the uh, meat. I also have Hebrus. Hebrus is an alibi. These little babies are 75% Belgian Shepherd and 25% Alibi. So here we have um, heads, whole heads, and then we have uh, ragu meat, which is basically cutouts from pork. My helper Miro. Say hi, Miro. <laughs> okay, and Delilah is already ready. Already, Delilah, ne, dolu, down. Thank you. These big heads are for the big dogs, and the cutouts, the bone cutouts, are for. They are for the uh, small smaller babies and I'm gonna separate one for the cats as well this is a good meaty one so I'm just gonna separate it because I have two well, one pregnant and one mama cat okay we're gonna start feeding my dogs um, my Belgian Shepherd puppies with the most dominant one first so let's see this is Delilah watching she's one of the most dominant ones but I'm gonna call them by name. Delilah? Delilah? Bravo, Mamu. Bravo. Delilah? Delilah? You see, she took it. She took it anyway. She knows it's for her. And these, uh, these little guys, they're waiting their turn. By the way, I'm just wearing house clothes today. Let's go with the next piece of meat and we're gonna do this for Mecho because he's the biggest one and then we also have Brutus who's also big. Mecho? Mechi? Mecho? Bye mama. Ah, Mecho took it. This is Chaika Reni. She knows her name. They all know their names. This is the big Casa. Her name is Casa Gallardo. I'm just kidding. Just Casa. She's alibi. And this is Hebrews. He's alibi, but he's a baby. And Casa is a year and several months old. And this one is Hebrews is about five, six months old. And this is the mother. Casa. Casa is like a white bear. And this is Yara. She's the mother of the babies. Yarka. Saxines, Yara. Bravo, bravo. They're all very scared of her. So you see, she's a dominant female, so she must be fed first. When I start feeding the big dogs, I must give uh, Casa her, her uh, portion, her portion or whatever. So, let me just... And I basically give it to her in her mouth. You see? Okay, Casa. Bravo, bravo. So, Hebrus is 
last because Yara is dominating over Hebrus and she's always taking his meal. So he's gonna have to be fed last because Yara will take his food. So she must have food first. Okay, so here is Yara's food. Yara, you ready? You ready, girl? You ready? It's a big one. Good. This is Brutus. Let's see. Let's pick out a meaty, a meaty bone for Brutus. Bruti, bravo, bravo. And Chaika has been patiently waiting, right, Chaika? Chaika Tareni. You want this, Chaika? You're gonna have to do some work for it. Can you get up? Can you get up here? Come on, Chaika. Come on. Bravo. Hi. That's enough. Oh, Mechu is also wanting an additional. Maybe somebody took his. Somebody must have taken. Hebri. Okay, so I'm feeling very um, sympathetic towards Hebrus. That's why I gave him before I fed all the small ones. Okay, the next is gonna be a meaty one for Mecho. Mechi, Mechi, Mechka. You're gonna have to do some work for it. Mechko. Ready, Mechi? Bravo, bravo. And then he's starting to eat immediately. And this is Delica. Delica. I'm gonna give a smaller one to Delica. That's why she's called Delica, because she's delicate. She's a delicate little girl. Delica. Bravo, bravo. And who else is left? Who else is left? Is there anyone else left? Pretty much everyone is eating. Hebri, you already have one. There's Mecho. There's Delica. They're both eating. Hebrews. Casa always goes very far to eat. But Hebrews is very eager for this one too. All right, take it away. There's, there's the little Chaika, Reni. The reason she has two names is because my mom named her Reni and I named her Chaika. So now I'm calling her with both names. Chaika Reni, bravo na mama. And this one is called Brutus. He looks like his father by by color but he looks like an alibi dog by stature and size and just overall appearance so he's and he's very smart he's very intelligent The only one I'm not seeing is Delilah. She's the most colorful of all the dogs. I think she's over here. There she is. That's Delilah. Delilah. Oh, dushichka na mama. Delilah. Yuhai, what are you doing? Bravo, mama. Bravo. Okay, so she's the most colorful. And then when they finish picking those bones, I will basically give it to Hebrus, uh, the big baby Hebrus, or his, or the mother of these children. Let's see who is available to take the next ration. <laughs> he ready, Hebrus? He's always ready. Always. I see my most I have more. Can you take more? Whoop. Drop one, buddy. You dropped one. 
Come on. Okay. So, and this one is my favorite. She looks like a... She looks like... Brutti! Brutti! Stop! Brutti! 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 Look at this water queen, mom! And, uh... So we still have a few pieces left. Let's go ahead and just give it to the babies. Or actually, I did put away this one for the cats, so maybe I'll give the cats a little more. Just a little more for the cats. And there's five more pieces left, or six more pieces left. Okay, if it's five, then it's enough for the babies. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna show you. Let's take these inside for the cats, and I'm gonna show you my cats as well. Oh la la. Why is it so difficult to pick up? All right. So that's my little workstation here. And um, there he is, the bandit. He actually was born one of the smallest ones, Brutus. Bruti? Brutus? I didn't say Hebrews, I said Brutus. Anyway, so he was born the smallest dog, but he actually grew up to be really big. Um, he's kind of like the runt of the litter. Okay, so here we go. We're going inside and we are going to put this in the cat's tray. And we're going to put, and here's one of the cats, Yilda. And we're going to put this in the trash. Yoda, Yodichka, hey little baby girl, and she's got this big tummy, really, really huge, let me show the tummy girl, let me show them the tummy, yes, oh my goodness, oh what a big tummy you have, okay girly girl. So because of Yoda, right Yoda, right, right baby, so because of Yoda, I have a litter box over there, and I have a baby birthing whatever box over there, this is my bed currently my computer it says Tetsi on it in Bulgarian and uh, Yoda I'm waiting for her to give birth tonight and I also opened up this cupboard because sometimes they give birth in the cupboards but I have to put a towel in it and I opened up this cupboard for her to choose from and I'll show you why I've done that because in this room here we opened up this cupboard and the other cat gave birth to her boy, baby boys and girls in the cupboard like she did last time. Ooh la la. But she actually gave birth in this middle cupboard last time. But this time she will give, she gave birth in this cupboard on top of my actually on top of my um, bathing suits so hey guys that's me today just wearing my house clothes so I'm gonna show you the baby cats and I already have them named Melikotka her name is Kotka let me just show you babies let me show them Okay. Okay, I know you love them. So these little ones, this one, his name is Coffee. This one, his name is Baboni. He almost looks like Coffee, but he has dots in the back. And then she has two more. 
these two are girls. This one is named, what's her name? Cleo, like Cleopatra. And this one is named White Mouse. This one. Because she's the smallest one. She looks like a mouse. She's got a uh, tail like a mouse. That's why I'm calling her White Mouse. Okay, you can have them now. She is licking coffee right now. Coffee is all white. And he's got the coffee stains on his head and on his tail. He is actually a duplicate of the mother. She is exactly the same. She's got the coffee on her head and the orange tail. But her colors are much lighter. Right, Kotka? Right, baby? All right, that's it for me, guys. Bye for now. And I'll see you again next time.